I am very late on this one, but... Hey beauties, it's Viviana and Happy New Year! And let me start out 2018 by first clarifying that I say, Hey beauties! Did you pick that up YouTube caption? Beauties! Beauties! Not So here is just how it works. I spend my money on a lot of products. I dislike a lot of them. I think most of them are just mediocre and blah. And just a very few of them. I mean, a very few of them I actually really like. As a matter of fact, the last product favorite I did was a year ago. I take my products favorite videos very seriously. So those products I mentioned before that I enjoyed a year ago, I still do love them and those are still my favorites. This year was my year of trying a lot more shampoos to the detriment of my own hair and sanity. However, I am going to just limit it to two shampoos, the top two shampoos that I've tried, and I will save the rest of them for a top five video later on in the year. Trust me, it was very hard to narrow down, okay? But I think I've got them. The Design Essential Naturals Almond and Avocado Moisturizing and Detangling Sulfate Free Shampoo and the Curly Bell Almond and Shea Bottle Moisturizing Shampoo. These are both my favorite shampoos of 2017. They are both moisturizing, they both smell great, they both leave my hair really soft, but most importantly, they clean my hair very well with only one lather. I don't know, it's minute and insignificant probably, but yeah, that's what pushed these two to the top, okay? And yeah, there's not much to say about that. Next is deep conditioners. And there are two deep conditioners that I have tried this year that is not on my previous list. And these are the main choice green tea and carrot deep strengthening and restorative mass treatment and the TGIN Thank God It's Natural Honey Miracle Hair Mask. Let's start with the... Which one should I start with? Let's start with the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. This is... Yo, why am I starting with this? I love both of them for the exact same reason. They are super moisturizing and they have a lot of sleep. So for marriage men, I detangle my hair during the deep conditioning stage. So for me, my deep conditioner has to have a lot of sleep to make my life easier. And these two deep conditioners have excellent slippage. I don't know which one is more expensive. How much ounces do I get in this one? I get 12 ounces in the TGIN and I only get 8 ounces out of the main choice. I get 8 uses out of the TGIN and I only got two and a half, two and a quarter <laughs> uses out of the main choice. Oh, and another difference between the both of them, this has protein and this does not. But seriously though, you can't really tell that this has protein in it because um, it works just as well as the moisture deep conditioner to me, in my hair, in my opinion. <laughs> so, in addition to the other deep conditioners that I've shown in my last product favorite videos, these two are added to the list. And then next in my wash day lineup are leave-in conditioners. And I love me a good leave-in conditioner, okay? I know a lot of people don't really see the point of a leave-in conditioner and a lot of people just, you know, slide over the leave-in conditioner like yeah okay I'll, I'll use it but I don't really give a shit about it but I do I care about leave-in conditioners and if you haven't seen my leave-in conditioning routine I'll be sure to have it up in the i cards but for my top two leave-in conditioners of 2017 the main choice soft as can be three in one revitalize and refresh conditioner this can be used as a co-wash, leave-in, and detangler, and the As I Am leave-in conditioner. 
Yeah, this one I'm gonna have to separate the talking about these. Let's start with the main choice first. This living conditioner was featured in a wash and style with the main choice gone wrong. And this was part of the reason I think the wash and style went wrong. So why is it on my favorites list, you ask? Because this is one of the few leave-in conditioners that I have tried that works perfectly with my Eco Styler Gel. Yes, I am seriously putting it in my favorites list because of that. And it's moisturizing too. And the next leave-in conditioner is the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. This leave-in conditioner has Great slip, that is one of his first property that I love very much, and it's very moisturizing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and this one smells really nice. I don't see what more I can say. All right, it's moisturizing, smells nice, and has great slip. Lovely leave in conditioner. Next category of products is my curl cream. So I don't know if you guys have um, seen it, but I really stepped my game up in the twist out department. And that's all thanks to a great technique and a really good moisturizing curl cream. And a good curl cream to me not only has to leave my hair nicely defined and super moisturized, but it also has to be able to withstand Jamaica's Humidity. I can't just be putting in my twist out, walk outside, and just have it fluff all the way up because, you know, water in the air and all of that stuff. <laughs> so I have two curl creams here that I have loved in addition to the curl cream that I showed in my previous product favorites. Don't forget those. I now have, in addition to those, I have the Curly Bell curl defining cream and I also have the Naturalicious moisture infusion styling cream. These two creams have been my absolute favorite for 2017. They both smell great, they both pack a lot of moisture and they reduce frizz, they have slip and they really leave my hair nice and defined and juicy. But if I'm gonna compare just these two curl creams that are already at the top of my list, I will put the Naturalicious just a little bit above the Curly Bell product because the Naturalicious absorbs into my hair a lot faster than the Curly Bell. They both have a lot of moisture, but for my low porosity hair, the Curly Bell just takes a little bit longer to absorb into my hair. They both are great okay it's just low porosity issues okay <laughs> my twist outs don't stop with just my curl creams okay I have a special place in my heart for a next type of product that I usually always add on top of my curl cream and that is my mousse and my setting lotion this is the Lot of Body Coconut and Shea Oil Wrap Me Foamy Mousse and I also have the Orion Zimi Concentrated Setting Lotion. For the Lot of Body, I don't know what makes this formula so much different, but the foam spreads a lot further than a lot of mousses I've used before and it leaves my hair really shiny, especially for a twist out and my braid outs. Yeah, and it also leaves my hair frizz free. When I use my curl cream, that gives me moisture and definition. But when I put my mousse or my setting lotion on top of it, it gives me just that extra bit of definition, shine, and a long lasting hold. And I don't mean like crunchy kind of hold, I mean the style just lasts a little bit longer than if I was supposed to just use the curl cream by itself. Okay? So. If you haven't used a setting lotion or a mousse on top of your twist out or your braid out as yet, I suggest you get on top of that, alright? You're welcome. So those are my favorite stylus for my twist outs and my braid outs. But when it comes to my wash and goes, and I'm going to be using a combination of two of my favorites, the Eco Styler Sport 
and the Wetline Extreme Gel. And I've mixed both of these gel in a two to one ratio in this little container right here. The Wetline Extreme by itself is just a little bit too lightweight. It doesn't give me as much definition, but it gives me great shine. And the Eco Stella Sport by itself gives me great definition, not a lot of shine, and it's just a little bit too crunchy for my liking. But together, together, <laughs> it gives me everything I need from a wash and go. It gives me the shine, it gives me the definition, and just the right amount of crunchiness to help my wash and go to last. So next on my list are oils and though I don't really like oils on my hair, I don't know why, I just don't. On my hair or on my scalp, I don't like it very much. However, when I do grab for an oil just for a little extra shine or my curl cream that I've tried somehow falls short and isn't leaving my hair very moisturized and I can't really add a moisturizer on top of the style because then it could get frizzy, I grab for an oil. And when I do grab for an oil, I grab for one of these two. This is the OGX Argan Oil and Miracle Weightless Healing Dry Oil and the Itanio Macadamia Deluxe Hair Bottle. And I love both these products for practically the same reason. They are lightweight and don't leave my hair greasy. The next product I have on my list, I never really would have thought I would ever have on my list, and that is a dry shampoo. This is the ORS Herbal Cleanse Dry Shampoo. Shampoo in sec. For the beginning of 2017, I did quite a bit of protective styling and this was what I used to cleanse my scalp and it was fabulous. Every time I needed to cleanse my hair, I didn't have to go under the shower, re-wet my hair, frizz up my hair and then have these heavy braids pulling down my neck. No! I just applied my dry shampoo by ORS and then wiped down my scalp and almost immediately any itching I was having pretty much stopped. However, hey, listen to me. On a don't be going the entire six weeks that I don't have a protective style in the hair and only be using this. Please, at least one or two times for that entire period, I'm gonna go under the shower and I'm gonna use a proper shampoo and cleanse your hair and scalp. Cleanse your scalp, please. Thank you. And the final product on my list is a moisturizer. Yeah, and it's actually a little sample packet that I got. This is the Talia Wajid Pure and Natural Shea Coco Curly Hair curl souffle <laughs> I had about five of these little packets and from the first day I tried the first packet I fell in love yeah it's really moisturizing really lightweight and it absorbs almost immediately into my low porosity hair so yeah why else wouldn't I fall in love with it <sighs> okay I've been talking forever that is it I am finished those are all my favorite products of 2017. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. If you're new to my channel, I'll be sure to have some more of my videos up in the iCard so you can watch, get more familiar with my channel and what we do around here. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. Or if after this video you're already in love, be sure to subscribe. Let me also know down in the comments if you agree with this list, let me know what your favorites were for 2017 and that you think I need to try this year because you know it's 2018 and I'm not on a no buy anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, beauties, thanks again for watching. Later! Mwah. Now, I ain't gonna be doing all that, you know. I am basically just going to be doing the bare minimum for this hairstyle so we get the essence of this hairstyle.